Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk you through how I made this box using decoupage napkins, I stencil, some acrylic heavy gel. It's a very simple project so hopefully it will be helpful for all of you but especially for the beginners. So I start with this box. I bought it from my local shop uh, called QD. They have like a little craft section there where they sell these blank boxes. So I had already previously tried to do this box in a different way. It didn't work out so I just painted it over with some white chalk paint. I decided to use this lovely napkin from Eden's uh, craft shop and then use in my water napkin application method which if you haven't seen it before I will link the detailed video in the description as well for you in case if you wanted more information about it but essentially I put the napkin onto a plastic folder make sure that you reverse it so it's facing down and then I pour a load of water onto it so that the napkin floats freely in water and then using an acrylic brush I get all of the air bubbles out and kind of stretch it out then I pick up the file folder pour all of the excess water back into my cup and then further dry the napkin just using one of these uh, disposable tissue things that I have. Next I place my napkin onto the top of the lid of this box and using this little plastic spatula thingy um, press it all down to make sure that it's down very nicely and there's no again air bubbles or anything like that left in between the napkin and the box itself and gently roll the plastic folder off of the napkin. Next I applied decoupage glue so this decoupage glue that I used is by Little Birdie Crafts it's the Deco Magic Gloss decoupage glue and so I just applied a layer of this and let it dry. Once my glue was dry I took a little bit of sandpaper and cleaned up all of the excess napkin off of the edges. Next it was time to decorate the body of the box and so I decided to use this lovely script stencil from Little Birdie Craft and their acrylic heavy body gel and so to help me keep everything in place I used a little bit of masking tape just to just to keep the lid on top of the box and then I put my stencil on and using one of these little palette knives I apply heavy body gel through the stencil and then I cleaned up the excess gel and put it back into the pot because we don't want to waste any of it and then I let it dry and repeated this process on all sides of the box. So next I painted the box so I mixed a little bit of this black and white chalk paints that I already have. The black chalk paint that I have is deco style I bought it in my local Aldi shop and then the white paint that I have is Rust-Oleum furniture chalk paint and so I mixed them together to get this grey colour and painting the whole box. To blend the edges of the napkin I use one of my sponge dabbers so I pick up a little bit of paint with my sponge dabber and dab kind of the excess off of it so that there's no like uh, no big bits of paint sitting on it and then gently dab it around all of the edges of the napkin and it just kind of creates this nice faded effect. Then after I had painted the outside and the inside of the box I mixed up a colour that was close to the uh, background color of the napkin so I tried to get to this like warm white so I used a little bit of white brown and yellow paint I will also link those in the description below for you if you wanted to have a look and then I kept adding more white till I was happy with the way that it was looking then I took my larger natural bristle brush and literally went crazy over the whole thing and pretty much covered most of the grey that I had just painted because I wanted the rest of the box to also be light but still show through some of the greys just like it does on the napkin itself so you can see that primarily the background is kind of this a creamy white colour but you can see greys coming through so that's what I was trying to imitate and also of course because this stencil is raised it was kind of picking up more of this white but also because I wasn't kind of getting in there and getting the paint into all of the little crevices um, that's what kind of showed it off a little bit more. And so I repeat this process on all sides of the box and the inside of course as well. Once I was happy with the way that it was looking I used Heavy Duty Wood Varnish by Polyvine to seal it all so I applied three layers on the outside and the inside of the box. And so the last step that I did was apply hardware so I didn't actually have any silver hinges to put on the back so for the time being I've just applied my gold ones that I already had at home 
while I'm waiting for the silver ones to arrive and then I applied this silver clasp that I already had onto the front of the box and that is it. So there you go guys, a very very simple project yet. I think it could be a very classy addition to somebody's kitchen or dining room. So yeah, let me know what you think to this box. Do you think it's a bit too simple or do you think it's just right? And let me know what you would use this kind of box for because of course it has a cutlery on it so it's very much kitchen themed but I'm not really sure um, what I would use it for. Somebody in my live stream suggested that this could be used to store recipe cards and I thought that that was a brilliant idea but I'm really curious to see what you guys have in mind as well for it. So yeah, there you go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe some of you found it helpful. Let me know if you did. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that, leave those in the comments down below. There's links for my social media and stuff in the description below. Like I said, I will link all of the products used in this video down in the description for you as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.